Hello and welcome to my channel. This is what we're going to be making today. This beautiful pizza. It's uh, a Moroccan chicken with caramelised red onions and avocado. Let's get cooking. Right, firstly, 150 mils of water. And to that I'm going to add one teaspoon of caster sugar and dissolve it. Then I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of yeast while I drop my bag of flour into the sink. We're going to whisk that up then we're going to leave it until it foams. It should be about five minutes. Now also measure out 250 grams of flour. 200. There we are, 250. Then add half a teaspoon of salt. Right, yeah. so that's foaming nicely now. So that tells us that the yeast is all good. And what we're going to do, that is pour it into the bread making compartment thingy here. Um, to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil. There we go. And of course we're going to add the rest of our flour. Rightio, I'm going to set my bread maker onto dough and that will do all the combining for me. Then when we come back I'll be turning the dough out onto a board. Right, now we'll get our dough out. Here we are, not too sticky. So that's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to form it into a bowl like this. And then we're going to cut it in half because this, the ingredients for this will make two pizza bases. Right, so this piece is going to go here. And this piece I'm going to wrap in cling film. Not making a terribly good job of this. <laughs> There we go, so that can go into the fridge and then this piece here I'm going to leave to prove for around about 30 or 40 minutes with of course a cloth over the top. Come back soon. Right and here's the chicken that we're going to be putting on the pizza. What I've done is I've stripped back the skin and then I've rolled it in some oil, some vegetable oil and then I've covered it with some Moroccan seasoning. Now I've been missing a couple of ingredients to make up my normal Moroccan seasoning so I've used a store-bought one which is fine um, and uh, what I'm going to do is then bake these legs for about 45 minutes um, until um, I can then get the chicken off the bone in small enough pieces that I can put it on the pizza. Right, excuse me. <laughs> Cloth here covering my dough. Um, we're going to caramelise these red onions to go on top of the pizza with the chicken and the avocado. It's going to be quite a yummy pizza. 
so we're going to let these soften out a bit in the frying pan once they're softened we'll shove in a um, tablespoon of brown sugar and then we'll get them nicely caramelized right in with the sugar you can see and now we'll start getting some color on those onions and they will be a very nice topping for the pizza right let's get this dough back and punch down Let's just push it out so that we keep it in a in a nice circle, leaving it thick on the outside, so we get a nice crust. Here we go. So firstly, on with our tomato paste. So I just use straight tomato paste when I'm making a pizza because mainly because it doesn't have lots of sugars and lots of salt if I want to season my pizza I'll season it at the end. So now I will get some cheese. Right and there's our cheese. Now I'm going to spoon some of this caramelised onion in dollops. Not be, I don't need good, particularly good coverage of this because these caramelised onions be quite strong so, but they will be absolutely gorgeous so I can tell you that and so I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees um, so we'll put the chicken on here and then the avocado I will put on once once it's cooked. Now this is the chicken that um, we put the Moroccan seasoning on and I can tell you <laughs> that it tastes absolutely gorgeous. So I, I put the seasoning on the chicken and then I put it in the oven for around about an hour at 150 degrees and then using two forks I just prized the cooked chicken away and there you go we'll wait for the oven to warm up and then we'll pop that in it shouldn't really need any seasoning and there it is straight out of the oven and I've just put the avocado on top of it and it looks absolutely divine nice and crusty underneath one beautiful pizza. Right, let's give it a taste, shall we? Now the <laughs> the other missing pieces are in fact my neighbour who does a little bit of testing for me. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's all right. Look at these beautiful caramelized onions with the chicken absolutely beautiful and then the avocado over the top it's just heaven thank you very much for watching I hope you could make this it's very easy um, and um, you'll get to <laughs> you'll make some new friends believe me all right I'll catch you on the next recipe
Cause I don't know 